with another episode of Jurassic Survival. Today we're to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, with our first steps into the brand new season three that is here. With it, we have a new set of tasks, uh, quite a few that we're going to be able to knock out. More that will be getting unlocked along the way. A brand new battle pass with awesome rewards, and some of the rewards actually include brand new weapons that were added into the game. So really quick to highlight those, we now have the USAS-12, a powerful, fully automatic shotgun rain that is going to be at our disposal so definitely want to work our way towards getting that and then a little bit later on this is crazy the juggernaut's armor look at the armor stats on this dude 25 on the body 20 on the helmet 10 on the boots 25 on the pantalones every single one of these decreases except the shoes they decrease your movement speed so you're gonna be like a slow moving juggernaut but with the amount of armor that this gives that is insane like 25 armor for that body over there whereas over here we have 18 for the reinforced hunter's body so it's gonna be very interesting to get that definitely gonna be working our way up there but that is just a taste of the newness because along with that in jurassic survival Hi, dang piece of trash. Why did I have to get into this? Oh, sorry. I haven't noticed you. How long have you been standing here? Do you live at this place? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is my house, bro. Don't be mad at me. I'm not leaving until I fix this junk. What? Well, in exchange, I could offer you an easy job or maybe not so easy. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, I'm here if you need me. Say hello to Floki. Floki is actually this little fella over here that can give us contracts every day i think i don't know exactly how like often it happens but he actually has the capability of giving us contracts so here we can see a few of the contracts that he has given us thus far and also a list of rewards that we get as we level up through what he does offer so yes actually as we like do do each of these i think this plus 15 or plus 25 is the amount of experience that we get for doing a contract each contract this is pretty much like a quest system being incorporated into Jurassic survival which is so freaking cool you absolutely love it to see it but uh which McCall. so each one of these like we can pick one of the two we get a reward over here like we get teak planks for doing the research which honestly is intriguing plus it's telling me to explore the t-rex nest i've been trying to find the t-rex nest oh i can accept both nice dude it looks like we got about 24 hours to pop them out the difficulty is over there at the top and hopefully we'll be able to get some levels and work our way up towards some of the better rewards because the rewards definitely do get pretty nice as we move on including some of that hunter's armor awaiting us at the end and the granata launcher oh baby we got some goodness we gotta work to floki i will try to find the goodness but before we go ahead and decide to actually head out on today's adventures la -di -da 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 -da, we gotta take a shower i'm trying to be squeaky clean do not look away i know that my tarzan underwear is absolutely incredible but please avert your eyes but all right we are squeaky clean we got some food we got some guns we got some medical supplies and some water for the road we are ready for an adventure and hopefully y'all are excited as well if y'all are looking forward to this season and all that it does bring make sure that like button and let me know in that comment section down below just how excited you are is this the t-rex nest maybe maybe dude did the t-rex nest finally no but Oh, that's another thing that was added within this update. A brand new alpha dinosaur as well. As we know, the season two update did introduce some of these alpha hunts. Well, this one introduces an entirely new one. The hunt for the alpha Ankylosaurus. Now, we still got to try and get that T-Rex nest to spawn in. But there is a brand new location for us to head to. However, I'm kind of scared. Like... This, I think, might be the strongest enemy yet. So, YOLO, let's dive head first. Let's see what happens. But we are doing Floki's quest. It does not look like we have any way of knowing the quests that are underway, like, that we can access from our menus or something. I think you just have to keep a mental note from where Floki is over there. That'd be pretty cool, I think. Let me know what y'all would think about that. But I think it'd be pretty cool to actually have, like, a dedicated quest menu added, for example. Hopefully, while we're doing his quests, we can also knock out a few of these tasks. We do already have the premium pass purchase. We came prepared this time around and 
I don't know, y'all. New seasons are always prime time for Jurassic Survival. Because if y'all don't know, Jurassic Survival is another mobile survival game, as y'all probably have been able to piece together if you are new to this. Kind of like last day on Earth Survival, but obviously with the big dinosaur theme. And hello. Oh. Bullets won't stop him. Oh. Uh. Well. I might need to get a rain check for this battle. <laughs> Let, 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 let me just fact check you there. Are you sure bullets will not stop them? Okay, they do like one damage a pop. Oh my god, that is a thick boy! Yeah, we'll be back. Okay! So apparently I gotta bring the godliest melee weapons in my arsenal because he does not seem to care. Hello, T-Rex Nest. I will head over there. Uh, let's hit up this airdrop first though, but yeah, Mr. Alpha Ankylosaurus does not seem to care about bullets. I came prepared with bullets. As such, I was not actually prepared. It's just a prank, bro. But yeah, y'all, it is good to be back at Jurassic Survival. Apologies for those of y'all that are fans of the series for a little bit of a wait in between episodes. Like literally for a week straight during like season two, I was trying to get that T-Rex nest event to spawn because that thing was added in season two. Dude, I would log in every day for like a week straight, multiple times a day. The event would not spawn in for me. I have literally no idea why, but... We finally got it to actually spawn in, which obviously has me very, very excited because we, if all does go according to plan, are going to be able to steal a T-Rex egg, not an actual T-Rex. If I could steal a T-Rex, that'd be impressive. No, we're going to be able to literally steal a T-Rex. Hello, is that a steel bar? That's a steel bar. Let's freaking go. We're going to be able to steal a T-Rex egg from that nest which we can then grow up and raise into our very own t-rex now unfortunately this update did not introduce to my knowledge a new type of dinosaur pet that we can raise we do still have the triceratops we have the velociraptors and of course the t-rex which are chilling at home and honestly i do we bring them along for the t-rex nest mm. I don't know. We'll just go ahead and put a little bit of our loot away. I'll just bring a few weapons with us over here to the T-Rex nest. And I will feed our dinos. I will let our beloved uh, just bloop, toss that over there. We got two hours of feeding. Beautiful. But uh, what you recall, if all goes according to plan, we should be able to steal a T-Rex egg from this nest, which is going to be pretty hype because we can then raise it and uh, hopefully get another T-Rex, which is by far and away the best type of dinosaur available thus far we do have one of our faithful t-rex companions and he's gonna be coming along with us and we're gonna see exactly how this goes bro because if i'm not mistaken the t-rex nest was reintroduced in season two this was actually an old event back in the og jurassic survival before the huge 2.0 update that revamped so many things uh but it was actually an original event and if i recall or and or like if this works the same way pretty much we gotta sneak around a t-rex nest and trust me these are these are not like the baby little infant t-rexes that i have these are full-grown t-rexes like i think if they realize that i'm alive and in their home they are going to literally bite me in half ggs no re so yeah a little bit a little bit just skeptical here we're gonna see how this all goes wish me all the luck because Eh, we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so here we have it. I have to find bushes to hide from the T-Rex. That is exactly what I am doing now. This is... And these bushes won't be easy for him to find me. Pretty much, there is a T-Rex. I have to stay behind the predator's back. Patrolling this entire zone. Somewhere around the middle. I believe that there's actually... A T-Rex. Oh, there he is. Y'all can see. Wow, the whole family's here. What? There's more than one T-Rex? Well, that's not good. I think T-Rex smelled me. Oh, I think when it says the T-Rex smelled me, I think that means that the T-Rex is going to start heading our way. Hopefully not. I'm going to... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm using the main map to try and stay alive. And uh, so far, it's going okay. You can kind of see, like like they said, you got to stay behind the T-Rex's back. Oh, you know, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ho, 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 ho. We might need to make a break for it. Oh, oh. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta 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 go, Oh, 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 we lived. Okay. Yeah, listen. If I recall correctly, that T-Rex will kill us in one hit. Oh, my God. 
All right, so if I'm back, like the T-Rexes forgot I exist, right? Like they're not just gonna, you know, bite me in half as soon as I spawn back in. That'd be very unfortunate. Please don't do that to me, T-Rexes. I'm feeling fortunate today. Let's not, let's not do unfortunate things. Let's, let's do fortunate things. Oh, bless up. All right, but on the mini map, you could have actually seen that I believe there was like a chest. I think that chest was the T-Rex nest. That's where we can steal the T-Rex egg from, and that's how we can grow our very own little T-Rex body. But we got to use bushes to our advantage because you all saw as soon as we walked out of the bushes, we became a lot, a lot, a lot easier to detect. Oh, baby. Are we going to make a break for it? I think this might, this might be what we got to do. This might be what we got to do. Is this the nest? Is this the nest? I think this is the nest. YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. I've never YOLO'd so hard in my... Ah, not a good call. Not a good call. Oh, bless up. He doesn't actually one hit us. How much damage do I do per bullet? Okay, only like one damage. Okay. Whew. I could actually take a little bit of a breather here. Okay. Y'all do not even understand. I'm pretty sure in the old version of that event, the T-Rex would one hit you. So it appears that the new version's a little bit more lenient. That is actually a huge just breath of fresh air. So I think like the T-Rexes cannot be near the nest at all. Because I think when we start looting the nest, we stop crouching. And crouching is kind of sort of the key to success. So I'm going to try and approach this from like another angle, maybe from like another set of bushes. I think like this bush over here might be a good one for us to start out in. And I don't think that the T-Rex is nearby yet. Do we make a break for it? YOLO, bro. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. Come on, baby. Give it a T-Rex egg. Give it a T-Rex egg. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I did. There's not a T-Rex egg there today. What? What? Are we sure that was the nest? Because all that I got was literally trash and some rope. Are these? Are they raising baby rope? I hope not. Oh my god. Tell me there's another nest here. Don't tell me that we only have a chance of getting the T-Rex egg. That'd be a heartbreaker if that's the case. Because it was already hard enough to get this thing to spawn in the first place. I'm going to continue exploring around the map. I have high hopes that maybe, just maybe, there might be another egg somewhere in this map. Or like another just like... Lo like, like a lootable location here. I'm literally keeping my eyes on that mini map. I'm just looking for anything that looks lootable. Bros. Ah. Uh, it's not looking good right now, chief. It's not looking good. Are you serious? Oi. Today. Oh, no, 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 no. He was right there. Now let him notice us. We only got to be sneaky DQ when he's nearby, you know. Is this it? Oh, actually, this could be it. I can't tell if that's... Oh, that's not trash, though. That's just a loot thing. Oh, is this it? Oh, let's... Let's uh, stay here. Usually when they walk one direction, I feel like, yeah, they change directions. So we got that going for us. Oh, my jeebaliba. Oh, my. Dude, there are so many T-Rexes. We're about to have to make another run for it. This is terrifying! There's so many T-Rexes! Ah! <laughs> They're literally surrounding me. That man is literally walking straight through here. Okay, we gotta make a run for it, bro. We gotta make a run for it. They're about to sandwich us. That was not a recipe for success. Oh man. So, okay, there are more chests that we can loot up, bro. Star attempts to be stealthy. Let me just say, this is not my natural habitat. Stealthy star? That's like a mutated unnatural star, okay? Guns blazing star. Crikey, we got a star in his natural habitat. He appears to be going guns blazing into literally every single situation. And then it's like, oh, here we got a wild star in his unnatural habitat. He appears to be attempting stealth. Attempting is the key word. <laughs> but all right, at least we do have confirmation that there are more. But where was that area with the... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. So hopefully those T-Rexes don't, like, decide to start walking this way. Hopefully I do, like, a normal turn. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta try and stay behind the T-Rexes back. We're doing exactly that. I think this... I think that right there is actually the egg. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, baby. Wish me luck. Come on, dude. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, 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 hurry up, hurry up, up, up. Oh, take all, take all. Dude, we didn't get the egg. We just got a broken eggshell. What is this leftover breakfast? Oh, man. So, unfortunately, oh my god, yeah, let's get out of there, dude. <laughs> let's not stick around for that. Unfortunately, luck was not on our side. I think that area that we looted was indeed where we could find the egg, but instead we got a shell, which apparently is valued by raiders. Not raiders, traders. This ain't last day on Earth. Jurassic survival. So we got that going for us at least, but all right, we got to go and hunt down some Orneoliolioliosis, about 15 of them. So let's head over to a normal zone. Uh, our dinosaur should be coming along with us, and uh, that, of course, being the T-Rex. We're going to try and hunt down a few of these, and... Then I don't know, maybe we'll double back, make our way back over to the Alpha Ankylosaurus. Maybe that would be a good call. We're getting a little bit on the hungry side, a little bit on the thirsty side as well. So we are going to need to go and keep that in check. But this new season's definitely interesting so far. I do like the quest system. I'm interested to see how it works if we like get it, like if we only get quests like, hello, vitamin P. If we only get quests like every day or if we can like constantly progress through the quest line. But that's so cool that there's like a quest system that kind of does give us a bit of direction. Tells us kind of like stuff to do. Hello, saber tooth tiger. Come on, let me finish him, my buddy. Actually, I will save this melee weapon too, because right now I need melee weapons more than anything else, really. Velociraptor, you're not who I'm looking for. The Orneolis, there you are. Come on, come on, Orneolis. I only got to kill a lot more of you. That's two Orneolis that we're at. Make that three, make that four. It's the Ornioli-Oli slaughter spree, baby. That is, I believe, six Orneolis that we have taken down. Hopefully there's enough so we can at least get halfway to where we got to go. Finish him, T-Rex, thank you. Yeah, hopefully there's enough where we can, like, get halfway. Beautiful, there's another one. Beautiful, there's another one. Aw, uh, just more Velociraptors. I don't know, man. If we're lucky, there might actually just be enough from this zone alone for us to take down. As y'all can see, this is obviously, like, the first quest, so it's a little bit on the easier side. We're literally hunting the easiest dinosaur to kill, the Orneoliosis. But I ain't complaining. You know, it's humble beginnings. I imagine it's going to get pretty crazy. It's going to, like... like I think it's really cool because it's gonna like guide us. You know, like if you're new to Jurassic Survival doing Floki's contracts, might actually be a really cool way of kind of getting a hang of the game. I imagine that it'll kind of like direct you to, you know, kill some basic uh, dinosaurs, then check out the nest, probably and at some point we're gonna make our way into Laboratory Alpha. So quite a few cool things going on in that regard too. Uh, do we do gotta hit up one more location, so. We're going to stop by home. It's literally on the way towards a level one location. I definitely want to do level one locations because that's where we are likely to run across the Orneoliosis. But let's see what happens. If I turn in Floki's quest, will he give me another one or am I going to have to wait to get the next one? And I think we did complete visiting the nest. We didn't even have to do anything. We just had to go and visit it, right? So Floki, buddy, old pal of mine, how, how are those repairs going? Huh? Oh, wow. Hot diggity dog. This is uh coming along very nicely, I must say. All right, though, Floki. We're at 11 out of 15 Orneolis, but the research has been completed. And we got a lot of teak out of that, too. Six teak planks. That's a very respectable. Teak is a very valuable resource in the Jurassic Survival ecosystem. Let's go and take down four more of the Orneolioliosuses. And then we will uh, tally up and see where we are at. And if we do indeed have to wait 24 hours for our next set of quests or if we'll be able to progress. But we did, I believe, level up two level. Did we level up in level two? Well, we'll double check after we uh, take down a few more of these Orneolis. But yeah, y'all, it is good to be back in Jurassic Survival. This season, I do not think is going to be as progressive as the last ones. If y'all recall in season two, every week, kind of a new event did unlock this time around. I don't think that there are new events obviously there's some very cool stuff i want to work towards as i was saying i really want to get my hands on that fully automatic shotgun so badly and definitely the juggernaut armor like we got some really cool things that we are going to be shooting for and showing up so make sure y'all are subscribed with that notification bell hit to stay in the loop as we do make our way towards those and one more orneoli and boom we should be good to go Come on, Rocky, let's make our way back home. Bam, 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 bam. Wait, no, that's John Cena. Wrong, wrong epic theme song track. 
All righty. Come on, John Cena. John Rocky. Rocky Cena. Whatever you want to call it. Let's make our way back home. Let's see what Floki's got in store for us. I'd love to see a system like this incorporated in Last Day on Earth, by the way. Like a daily contract system or like a daily quest system. Potentially like the biker's camp or the biker's base. Keep the biker's base as like a permanent location. I don't know. I don't want to like focus too much on talking about Last Day on Earth. But, you know, it definitely does have its similarities. They are both mobile survival games. They're uh, based on the same like game engine, all that jazz. Obviously, this has dinosaurs. A pretty big difference, but... Oh, I thought my dinosaur just talked to me. No, it's just a talking plant. That makes a lot more sense. Bro, Floki, why aren't you playing some tunes, brother? What's up with that? Bop! And the items have been sent uh, to the inbox. And I believe that we did receive some of these rewards for leveling up as well. We are officially level three. And it does appear that these quests are newly gotten every day. So at the very least, this is good. Because every time we do do a video, we are going to have a fresh set of Floki quests to do. Now, let me know in that comment section down below. Were these the first two quests y'all had? Or how exactly did that work for you? Like, did y'all have these same quests? Or did you have uh, different ones? Is it, like, completely randomized? Does everyone kind of start with the same two quests and kind of progress linearly? Or is it always randomized? Or maybe, like, you know, do these quests depend by day? There's a few different ways to look at it that I am definitely interested in. I'm also interested. We're already making some progress towards uh, some of these quests. Obviously, there aren't like super... Oh, we got some raiding quests over here on the premium side. Yeah, though, that is really interesting, and it looks like we got some raiding lined up, but oh, we're gonna have to kill that alpha ankylosaurus quite a little bit. We gotta increase our level of contracts over here. That does tie into that, but it's very cool to see Floki over here as an addition. Let me know what y'all think about it in that comment section down below. And just in general, this season do y'all like it better than season two to those of y'all that have been around or do you like season three better and if you are new to jurassic survival this has been an entirely new experience to you y'all should definitely check out our jurassic survival playlist there should be a link somewhere near the top of the description that you can go ahead and click on and you can kind of follow our adventures and how we ended up getting to this point because jurassic survival is definitely one of the cooler mobile survival games out there i'd say the coolest ones are probably like last down earth jurassic survival and westland survival which by the way i do want to dive back into westland survival sometime soon i've been seeing some questions for that and apparently there have been some videos cool updates as well are my are y'all sniffing the plant bro he's talking again my dinosaurs are talking that dinosaur is telling me he feels strange and now he's hungry for some chicken bro i don't know why the dinosaurs like that plant i'm very suspicious to say the least but uh yeah good times are coming more jurassic survival because uh the ankylosaurus that is a battle we will commence in the next time that we return boy that's it with that time that's gonna go start wrapping it up Follow me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Hi, this is an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.